Okay, interesting. Yeah. And then the last um, weight loss peptide uh, is melanotan. So there's, of course, one and two. Um, do they both have weight loss properties? They do, although the two has much more weight loss properties. But uh, I always like to mention that the melanotan one is actually FDA approved as mm -hmm. afemelanotide. How often do people get hyperpigmentation? You know, the the fact that their 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 you know pigments are getting a lot darker. You know, that may upset a lot of people. Yeah, I would say that uh, it's something to expect with the melanotan too. Um, okay. You would you you would not see it as much with the melanotan one. Um, which is usually given as a pellet, actually, for vitiligo. Um, but uh, but with that being said, yeah, the melanotan too, almost everyone should expect it. But it is also dose dependent. Um, and so, uh, for instance, I would say that uh, the more melanocytes you have, so generally the darker you are um, at baseline, the more you're going to experience that as a side effect. Oh. Um, uh, because uh, what it does is it stimulates your melanocytes, but your uh, but but obviously everyone has a very different amount of melanocytes, and so it'll affect some people differently. And I think that generally the biggest complaints are some of those mucous membranes will start to turn purplish, um, like your tongue or your lips, um, and and so uh, or the sort of even make you the under your eyes a little bit darker. Then the very important question is that reversible. <laughs> yes, absolutely reversible, but it takes time. You have to lose that melanin, um, and uh, and that can take some time, uh, certainly. But they're also, for what it's worth, peptides, which also can help uh, lighten your skin as well. Um, and and so uh, some of those are in, in frequent and cosmeceutical ingredients, but uh, some, some really interesting things happening there.